BrainWise presents Grade 3 Math Quiz B Part 2 Let's get those math brains warmed up. Easy questions first. Solve them mentally or grab a pen. Your choice. Let's go! Easy round. Question number one. Subtract 345 from 876. Again, subtract 345 from 876. A, 531. B, 521. C, 511. D, 501. The answer is A, 531. Question number two. What is 123 times 4? Again, what is 123 times 4? A, 482. B, 492. C, 488. D, 498. The answer is B, 492. Question number 3. Divide 36 by 4. Again, divide 36 by 4. A, 8, B, 9, C, 10, D, 12. The answer is B, 9. Question number four. Which fraction is equivalent to one half? Again, which fraction is equivalent to one half? A, two thirds. B, three quarters. C, four eighths. D, five sixths. The answer is C, four eight. Question number five. What is one third plus two thirds? Again, what is one third plus two thirds? A, one sixth. B, one half. C, three sixths. D, one. The answer is D, one. Crush those easy ones. Awesome! Time to step it up. Think you can handle these? Average round. Question number one. What is the sum of the even numbers between 31 and 41? Again, what is the sum of the even numbers between 31 and 41? A, 170. B, 180. C, 190, D, 200. The answer is B, 180. Question number two. A bakery has 75 cupcakes. They sold 38 cupcakes in the morning and 27 in the afternoon. How many cupcakes were left unsold? Again, a bakery has 75 cupcakes. They sold 38 cupcakes in the morning and 27 in the afternoon. How many cupcakes were left unsold? A, 10, B, 15, C, 20, D, 25. The 
answer is A, 10. Question number three. Maria has $5. She wants to buy a book that costs $2.75 and a pen that costs $1.50. Does she have enough money? If yes, how much change will she get? Again. Maria has $5. She wants to buy a book that costs $2.75 and a pen that costs $1.50. Does she have enough money? If yes, how much change will she get? A. No, she doesn't have enough. B. Yes, she will get 75 cents in change. C. Yes, she will get 25 cents in change. D. Yes, she will get $1.25 in change. The answer is B. Yes, she will get 75 cents in change. Question number four. What is the value of three times 15 minus eight plus six divided by two? Again, what is the value of three times 15 minus eight plus six divided by two? A, 24. B, 27. C, 30. D, 33. The answer is A, 24. Question number five. A rectangle has a perimeter of 24 centimeters. If its length is eight centimeters, what is its width? Again, a rectangle has a perimeter of 24 centimeters. If its length is eight centimeters, what is its width? A, three centimeters. B, four centimeters. C, 6 centimeters. D, 16 centimeters. The answer is B, 4 centimeters. Oh, you're on fire! But are you ready for the ultimate challenge? Only the bravest will conquer this. Let's go! Difficult round. Question number one. A school bus has 32 seats. Each seat can hold two students. If the bus is full, but seven students get off at the first stop, how many students are left on the bus? Again, a school bus has 32 seats. Each seat can hold two students. If the bus is full, but seven students get off at the first stop, how many students are left on the bus? A, 25, B, 57, C, 64, D, 71. The answer is B57. Question number two. A recipe for cookies calls for one third cup of sugar and one quarter cup of butter. If you want to make half the recipe, how much sugar will you need? Again, a recipe for cookies calls for one third cup of sugar and one quarter cup of butter. If you want to make half the recipe, how much sugar will you need? A, one sixth cup. B, 1 12th cup, C, 2 6th cup, D, 2 thirds cup.
The answer is A, one sixth a cup. Question number three. Three friends earned $18 by raking leaves. They want to share the money equally. How much will each friend get? Again, three friends earned $18 by raking leaves. They want to share the money equally. How much will each friend get? A. $3 B. $6 C. $12 D. $45 The answer is B, $6. Question number four. What is the value of 12 times 3 plus 8 divided by 2 minus 5? Again, what is the value of 12 times 3 plus 8 divided by 2 minus 5? A, 35. B, 37. C, 41. D, 45. The answer is A, 35. Question number five. A rectangular garden has an area of 24 square meters. If the length is six meters, what is the perimeter of the garden? Again, a rectangular garden has an area of 24 square meters. If the length is six meters, what is the perimeter of the garden? A, 10 meters. B, 14 meters. C, 20 meters. D, 28 meters. The answer is C, 20 meters. That's a wrap. No matter your score, keep learning and growing. Share your score, challenge your friends, and let's spread the math love. Did you enjoy the quiz? What's your score? Comment it below. If you want more of these content, leave a like and share this with your friends. You may subscribe to the channel as well. Check out other videos from Brainwatch.